Today is March 13th, 2022. And um, astrological weather, moon is in Cancer, but kind of towards the end of Cancer. And the sun had just made its conjunction to Neptune earlier this morning, really early. We also lost an hour due to daylight savings time, that whole situation. Um, But yeah, so the way I'm feeling at the moment, and I was feeling this yesterday, um, there's just a few things coming up. I did the class yesterday for um, the Tarot 101 Masterclass, which is an intro to the more in-depth class called Tarot for Mystics. I'm really, really excited about um, however, my perfectionist Capricorn self was not <laughs> satisfied with the way I taught the class, which I'm sure it was good. You know, I got some positive feedback from, you know, people that had participated as well as, um, Malachi, um, overheard, you know, of course me teaching the class and he said, you sound really good. You sounded clear, professional, so forth. So it's definitely all in my head. But this is, you know, and um, I feel like it's it's a part of what's coming through with the Sun Neptune because with the Sun Neptune energy, there is a um, tendency, or what's happening with the Sun, right? The Sun is coming around to Neptune, where Neptune is already it, its placement is um, they're challenging the nature of reality or how you perceive reality. Um, It's there as sometimes things are hidden, sometimes things are revealed. There's, I felt like this whole week, um, there has been a focus on some kind of truth coming to the surface. And actually, now that I'm thinking about that, or something hidden. So I personally don't feel like I've, I've received that. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a timely thing. Like it has to be this week, this week or this weekend. I think it might come through even possibly with the full moon is what I'm just thinking about now. But events that have happened this week are going to lead into this reveal, right? This um, some kind of hidden aspect coming to light. And so, yeah, my true Capricorn, Mercury, and all the things, um, perfectionist ways, I just was like, oh, it could have been better, or I didn't mention this, or, you know, um, I just didn't feel organized, even though I was, like, very, very organized. So um, I think I was a little distracted just because of the little one in the background, as you can hear. Hello. Always. Always always with me, always next to me, which is, you know, she's only two, so it's expected. Um, But yeah, so I feel for me personally, you know, or again, coming back to sun, can join Neptune and Neptune can be hidden things and things being revealed over time or, you know, just questioning of your belief systems and just what reality actually, your perceptions of reality, that's major. And so with the sun coming through, the sun, it brings forth that illumination. It's such a bright, radiant light. And naturally, when you have the sun shining its light on some aspect that is in the dark, shadows are created or brought forth. And so while, yes, this is really good, or illumination is always good, right? That divine intelligence coming through is great. However there's going to be some discomfort naturally. And so that is what I'm feeling. I'm sure a lot of people are feeling it. I know of, wow. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. I'm just gonna have to move that mirror. Speaking of reflections, (laughs) it didn't break. So that's great. Um, But yeah, so yeah, just some people close to me, I know are going (coughs) through their own things. Especially this little one here. Um, But yeah, so this is the diary of a witchy mama. What's up, baby? What's 
going on? You got up here. You don't want to be up here anymore? But anywho, I will touch bases because I can see my time is expiring and I am my attention is needed elsewhere. But as always, I am so happy to be doing this again and I will be jumping back on and putting in another, another entry here soon.